Well, we decided today to do a little bit of exploration. It's just us and uh, Adrian and Daniel are back behind us. We've gone uh, into the Washita National Forest today and just turned off a of Highway 7. So we're going to see where we end up. Okay, this is the day Rachel and I, and we also have um, some of our kids with us behind us in the, in the gray Jeep. So our, our loop today, well, the first loop, we, we're gonna take another one up here, but we're about to come back onto Highway 7. <clears throat> so um, compared to the Ozarks, uh, the Washita's up here where we are. Um, the foliage is about the same. Uh, wildlife, we've seen quite a bit of wildlife. And um, mm -hmm. and the trails, uh, there's, uh, you know, an uh, aggregate dirt road uh, for several miles, probably, I'm gonna say three to four miles before we hit the before we hit trail and we hit trail it was a low technical trails uh, really a, a little bit rough but not uh too technical let's see I'll pull over here wait on our group <clears throat> there's radio and so uh, i think some of the pros are take a uh, left on the highway the pros are gonna be, we only ran into one other uh, off-roader, so traffic was minimal. And uh, the con, I think, is that, uh, well, another pro is there's, there was quite a few camp spots on one loop they were secluded. Uh, I don't think you would have a lot of traffic. 
Like, um, if you're in the Ozarks and you're near a trail, you know, you're going to, you're going to have traffic. We've even experienced traffic, <clears throat> you know, into the night. A lot of people will not ride, especially in the summertime. But, um, so the cause would be that the trails, um, so we didn't find anything technical on this one and the camping on the water would be um, you know would be out you, you really can't find good camping spot on the water uh, th just this trail now there's more we're just exploring and and uh, this loop here which we're going to post we'll put in the link in the description but anyway uh, we did mark the camp spots on it so you'd be able to leave those camp spots but there's no water camping. And uh, so that's trail one. We did come up on one water crossing. Okay, we, we did come up to a deep water crossing and, and it is marked. Uh, I'll tell you that uh, we had a Jeep with us that's not snorkeled and it's uh, stock, not, there's no lift on it. And so we got out in there a little ways, got to uh, headlight height uh, with our snorkeled lifted black sheep and uh, decided, you know, only thing we'd be able to do is go across it, turn around and come back because they couldn't cross. So it's marked on there, uh, but you will need to be snorkeled and lifted to get across that high water crossing. Okay, that's it. If you got any questions, you guys can uh, drop us a comment also. threatening to storm on us all day and now we're having heavy rain, strong winds and hail. You may see some hail bounce off the hood. Yeah, it's, it's on the hood there. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. You see it. It was, uh, pretty large hail there for a little bit so we found us a, a limb here kind of a tree hanging out over the, the road a little bit and enough for us and the jeep behind us trying to take a little bit of shelter from it if you're driving right down the road you know you're just open to it so we try to kind of stick it out here for a few minutes at least till that hail backs off. The wind's already died down. Yeah. Sometimes Mother Nature is the one that lets you know when your trip is over. <laughs>